Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna react to the best and awards winning developer portfolios. And also we wanna rate those portfolios depending on different points and constraints. So for example, is it responsive? Does it have email? Does it have like work projects with like details and kind of, you know, you know, like some screenshots and links to it and this kind of stuff. So we try to give our rating onto those portfolios. So let's go ahead and see uh, the first portfolio right here. So this is the first portfolio we got here, which is the, uh, it's called Patrick Hing. Uh, hopefully I'm spelling your name right. Sorry if I'm not. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a creative developer and he's currently based in Paris or Paris, if you want to say it in French. But yeah, oh, oh my God, L look at that portfolio. Uh, I actually took a look on these, but I haven't experienced with them. So I, I left the full expression for the video just to see how it looks. And yeah, so I, I thought I thought, and even the mouse wheel is actually just doing horizontal scrolling. So there's no vertical scrolling, like as an usual website you see from the side. I'm I'm amazed already. And look at the 3D stuff; it just does look absolutely good. Uh, color stuff, yeah, it's very attractive. So as soon as you do, you get like selected projects from 2017, 2020, um, complex 2.0 online events. You click on this and this gets like, kind of like expanded for you. Oh, so this kind of 3D commerce enabled video game where users can shop from around 60 brands. He's actually offering uh, the website link. So as you see, he's, he's actually offering this and the FWA case, I don't know what's that. But yeah, just, you know, putting a video in here is very interesting. So you can close that, you keep scrolling. And I love these shapes that goes behind in here. As Chris, he has some mouse interactivity. So it makes it like look so good. So part of development multiplayer, WebGL video game for complex uh, 2021. Uh, there is the Adidas Chill 2. Uh, I think I've seen this website before. Yeah, another video is playing. Oh, that website. Yeah, I've been I've been through this website. It was like wondering who made this. And you think our guy in here actually had a had a hand on it. He worked on it, maybe with the team, maybe himself, on like child or chill or child, I guess. I don't know how to spell that. But yeah, that, that looks amazing though. And it tells you that you want to keep scrolling. Yeah, just there is more into it. And 2019 Spotify wrapped. Maybe this is an event. Uh, yeah, I guess it's it's actually an event. But the way he showcases stuff in here and he gives you like a little bit of like, you know, description, and he gives you the video and the video just so good, it just, you know, tells you more about the project, how it works and those kind of stuff. Absolutely adore this. I can keep scrolling through this. I love the whole aesthetic in here. So I see Patrick hang in here has work and you can go to about. So as Chris in here, as soon as you scroll, there is all about work. So it's almost the end. And I love this kind of SVG stuff. So this looks pretty good. Oh, I think he made he made this pinball uh, we go, I think game. So let's try to visit the website of this. But hallelujah, this looks like a, oh wow. And it, I think it has some some sound into it. So I'm, I might want to just like put my hits in. All right. Oh, you click space bar. I want to decrease a little bit the sound so I can hear myself speaking. So you release, you get this awesome game. And it's an AMP. I'm gonna leave here. One more shot. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. The sound, the music. Maybe on the about section, you're gonna have hello there. So you can scroll and go like, uh, my name is Patrick Hang, but call me Pochash or Patush. Sorry if I'm misspelling again. But yeah, I like the shaves going on. He gives you the email. He doesn't have an, uh, a form. So let's try to responsiveness a little bit. Just just a quick one. So if I do that, if I go to iPhone X, will it just keep scrolling? I think it does, but you need to still use a mouse wheel. Maybe the events will work actually later on. Um, maybe 75%, you can go back to work. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of very responsive though. So for rating, I would say the overall kind of rating for this uh, awesome website of Patrick is I, I would say because it has a really good kind of unique design idea, has some creativity, has some like you know horizontal scrolling. I love this kind of animations of those shapes that go in behind the scenes. 
I love the interactivity of the mouse. It just looks, make it look absolutely awesome. It just like a completely, it doesn't feel or look like an actual or a regular website. Uh, we got plenty of stuff, but I would have just loved to see the form or the email form in there. But still, you can just click on the email here. You can send them an email real quick. Uh, but still, it just gives you all the, the socials and GitHub is very much appreciated. So yeah, absolutely adore of those. I would say this one is kind of a nine. Uh, in my opinion, just like it takes nine out of 10. Well, the next one we've got is is called Cassie.co's. And I like this domain name a lot, .co's, which is so good, better than .com. Maybe .dev as well is, is so interesting, but .co's, I've never been through many of these kind of domain names, but whatever. So we jump into this, it's clear to see the first thing you see, a full screen kind of greenish with white, and it has some SVG playing around in here. Uh, like a desktop and everything. So you can immediately say that this is a developer's portfolio. And uh, right, yeah, I love the talk animation here, it's so good. Uh, also, right, I cared about other things. So you get writing, speaking, workshop, or playing. If I scroll down, there is a lot of stuff. Let me, let me try one thing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so sweet. And I love dark modes kind of websites, which offers you a dark mode. And this one is kind of very stylish. It changes a lot of aspects. And I love this kind of light aspect. It just lights the desk. That's so creative. Like, I don't know how, how people can actually figure this out when they build their portfolios. I can't even think about how to start my portfolio though, but that's so good. I wanna, I feel like I wanna just like, you know, drop my web dev career and just turn it to something different. Um, however, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just kidding. So if I click this, yeah, that's looking good. This is kind of lamp, so you can toggle it on and off. I'm amazed. Uh, speaking, it takes you to the speaking stages and I love the whole aspect. The design is kind of different. The background is not using always the white background, which is so good. Uh, it uses kind of different text or font family. I love this font family in here. I love the animation of the kind of, you know, the, the, the logo in here. It's, it's, I think it's SVG animation, which is so good. Absolutely. Uh, like writing, speaking and, uh, always up for a chat, pop me an email. So you can send him an email, send her an email, sorry, uh, to this particular email, which is kind of professional email. Instead of using Gmail, there's this, this kind of stuff feels a little bit more professional. Um, so let's try the kind of responsiveness and see if this is, this is an actual responsive or mobile friendly website. So as soon as I do this, I have this on an iPhone X. Uh, maybe you can have this as a hundred percent. I think, yeah, that would be better. Um, yeah, that is. That is a mobile friendly just by looking at it, it just hides the an animation, it hides the fuzziness, it hides the non needed stuff. It just keeps only the stuff that you need. And it has this kind of bottom bar, which is, which kind of mimics the look and feel of an actual mobile application or an Android application or an iOS application. I love that. And the colors are still there. Even the SVG is still there. Just like a little bit resized down, uh, the dark mode is still there and it looks so good. So I think for this, um, it has. For the actual rating, it has like a good design, a very unique idea and creative. Uh, it has, um, you know, uh, has a responsiveness and it works on mobile. That's pretty good. Uh, it showcases the work with links and everything. Yeah, that's so good. And it also gives us this like kind of, um, it gives us more about the, like, the guy who is and what he does and like speaking and everything. And this kind of stuff like attracts the actual, you know, employees or whatever is gonna view his pro your portfolio basically. So yeah, as I said before, I'm gonna give this like um, an 8.5 for for this kind of stuff that it has, but it still hasn't the, the actual email form and everything. So yeah. And the last portfolio we wanna like, you know, review and react into this kind of like Victoire Dewey. I think this is a French name, I think it's Victoire. So that's what I'm, how I'm gonna like pronounce this in the French way. Um, so yeah, just like going into the website, you see this kind of completely different aesthetic and style which looks cool by the way. And the mouse in interaction with the flower. So the flower flies away from the mouse. I love that. I love that. Um, yeah, there's work about and everything. There's this shuffle button. Okay. So, all right. And the mouse kind of interacts with those. So you can drag and drop, you can hit those. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks so amazing. I, I love that. I mean, look at they're just coming from the sky and hitting the ground. Maybe shuffle again. Oh, it just gets this TV stuff and whoa, that's pretty cool. That's an that's an art. That's that's more than a website to be honest. That's kind of 
an art shuffling idea. Oh, awesome. So shuffle again. All right, a bunch of cats. Mouse, shuffle again. There you go. Oh, boys do cry. Yeah, they don't. Just kidding. They don't. Okay. Uh, completely ignore this idea. I'm just kidding. So yeah, I love I love this kind of aesthetic. It just kind of has like it's a new website every single time you click a shuffle. So it just brings you completely different ideas. I think this happens whenever the website loads. So every single user like lands on the website has a completely different landing page that is so much good and it looks just so creative. Look at it. It just this art, this is art. So let's try to go down a little bit further, maybe scroll. I think this is going to take us to work. And I think I, I love the way that they can circle this kind of stuff. Uh, it means a select selected. And uh, there's Adidas Pride. There is I love that uh, work again. So wild cities, let's see. Uh, this is an app store application. So it's kind of an iOS application. I think this is a more of like a 3d ish kind of game. I love that. And the gallery in here just showcases a lot of stuff and it gives you the link to the so this link is not okay. So this is an AR app and it's free and it gives you the actual link so you can see it in action. And this is what I love. And it gives you so much description like the team who works on this. And if she belongs in the team and everything. So well, yeah, I'm amazed. Let's see the about. All right. Um, about mm hmm. I'm an interactive designer and straighter from France, currently based in Amsterdam, working at Jam 3 stuff. So let's see this. And I'm kind of going to go ahead and do the responsiveness now. So I stand again, I'm going to have the iPhone X. And yeah, those those kind of stuff like seem to be working responsive. This is being resized. So this looks good. Yeah, the experience is resizing. The shapes are resizing. They're all taking the shape of the, the device you throw at it. So this looks good. Uh, the about, let's see it. Yeah, looks good. Work again. Uh, maybe you want to see work again in here. Yep. So I think if I would rate this website, like the overall rating, depending on the difference kind of rating point we have. Um, so it kind of like has, I don't know, it, it gives a good design. Well, it does give absolutely unique design and a brand new idea and creative design. Um, does it have a responsiveness and a mobile friendly kind of website? Yes, it does. It kind of resizes everything. So this is awesome too. Um, does it have like details about the work uh, with screenshot, maybe videos as well, and very much of details and links? Yes, it does because we saw that as well. And last but least, does it has an email form? No, it doesn't, fortunately. And does it tell us more about like who the portfolio owner and like the just a photo, just a little bit uh, where he lives and his background, his kind of stuff where he grew up? This, this kind of stuff would be really interesting just to get us, you know, in touch with that kind of developer but yeah this one doesn't but still absolutely awesome portfolio one of the best i've seen ever <laughs>